Hello guys, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to discuss our question largest of array with zero sum. So in the input, we are given an array of integers. We are required to find the length of the largest sum array whose sum is equal to zero. So let's understand it with the help of an example. So let's say this is our array. Now what's our task? Our task is to find a sub array whose sum is equal to zero. Not just a sub array, but the largest sub array. So first, let's see a sub array whose sum is equal to zero. So let's say in the first index we got minus two and in the second index we got two. So this sub array minus two and two, we know minus two plus two is equal to zero, right? So this is our potential answer. What we are required to calculate is the length. So what is the length here? Two element. So the length is here is two. It can be our potential answer, right? So that's our question. We are required to calculate the maximum Again, the maximum sub array whose sum is equal to zero. Okay. So now let's see how we'll proceed the problem if you have understood the problem. Okay. So let's say the sum of these elements is x, right? And the sum of these elements starting from zero till eight index is also x. So what does that say? That says that the element between them starting from 4 till 8, right? Starting, let me highlight it with the blue pen from 4 to 8, their sum will be equal to 0, right? Why is that? So here, from 0 to 3, our sum was equal to x. Okay, let's x be any number. And then, after we reach 8, if their sum is again x, so what that indicates? That all these elements, their sum is equal to zero because our x is still the same. Okay, so now that will be our approach. So let's see how we'll proceed with it. Okay, so we will take a, we will require sum, right? So we will take a sum. Okay, now let's calculate its sum. Okay, so sum till the element. So again, we are at the zeroth index. What will be our sum? Our sum will be equal to 15. <laughs> okay, then we get to the first index. What will be our sum? Our sum will be equal to 13. And then we are at the second index. Now, if we are at the second index, okay, we get 15. Right? Do you agree? We get 15. So now try to link it with the condition that we discussed. If this is our x, right? If this is our x, and this is also our x. Then what was the, then what was it? The difference between them. This is zero. This is supposed to be zero, right? So that's the case here, as you can see. Minus two plus two is equal to zero, right? But we need the length. How will we get the length? So for that, the same, there will be a simple formula. Let me write the formula here. So it will be current index, current index, minus old index of what of my sum all right of my sum so by this formula if i try to apply it here so my index is 2 2 minus 0 that is gonna give me 2 so 2 is my potential answer right okay as you can see 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 okay so now let's proceed further. Okay, before proceeding further, what I want you to think that how we will get to know our old index, how we can get to know. Think about it. Which data structure can help us in accomplishing that? Yes, you are right. Hash map is going, going to help us. So what we are going to store in our hash map? In our hash map, we are going to store some and its index. So by that, we know if that sum is already present or not, right? If it is already present, then at which index it is present. So it's going to really help us. Okay. So now that we have talked about this, let's proceed further. And I hope that you are understanding, right? Perfect. Now we get to the third index. Our sum is going to become seven, right? Now sum is not present, right? Now we get at the fourth index, my sum is going to become eight. 
now important part at the fifth index what my sum is going to become my sum is going to become 15 but what's the catch here so what's the catch here what we discussed my formula is my current index minus old index right so now you must be wondering but there are two 15s that are present right so for that our hash map will help us right so we know that our hash map is storing our values so let's say our hash map got 15 at its index 0 right so whenever we get our sum we are gonna put it in our hash map right and we are never gonna update it why is that because we know right the which is greater if we include from here to here or if we include from here right so we know that the first one so if we include this sum that will be that if we include this as our old index that will that will give us a greater answer so what i'm saying here that this is equal to 15 and till here this is also 15 so here our sum is equal to 0 as 15 is constant 15 is still the same right so by using this formula we can again calculate so my index is 5 minus my own index that is 0 that is going to give me 5 so i got a greater sub array so i'm gonna update it to 5 that is storing my max length perfect now <clears throat> now let's see further okay let's see further we get at 6 index so it becomes 25 and 25 is not present so if our sum is new it is not present in our hash map what we are going to do is simply store it or put it in our hash map now we get at our seventh index what our sum is going to become our sum is going to become 48 right so it's a new value we are going to put into our hash map now we get our eight index again again it is a new value right this is not present what we get is 28 right we are going to put in our hash map now in the ninth index it becomes 36 new value new sum we are going to put it in our hash map now the important case now if we subtract 29 from 36 what we are going to get is 7 now we are going to check if our hash map contains 7 yes it does contain 7 so now see this case so from 0 till 3rd index my sum is 7 also from 0 to till 10th index my sum is again 7 so what does that indicate that from 4 till 10 till my current index right all this comprise of 0 right that the sum of all these element is 0 right so before that before that i want to show you if this is true or not i know it's a big example but let's see okay so here 7 plus 1 it's going to be 8 right 8 then right here it's going to be 18 let me write it like this then if you further subtract it uh 18 what is 18 plus 23 18 plus 23 is 21 31 41 so sum till here is 41 then i reduce then it's going to become 41 minus 20 that is 21 right now in my 21 if i add 8 it's going to become 29 and of course as you can see the last value is minus 29 so it's going to become zero hence proved now using our formula again very simple formula current index that is 7 minus my old index that is 3 current index that is 7, 10 sorry my index is 10 right so current index minus my old index that is 3 that gives me 7 as you can see there are 7 value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so my new max length is equal to 7 perfect now i hope that you have understood it before moving to the code i want to show you some more example let's say our array is 2 3 4 in that case what will be our max length as we know here nobody sum will never get to 0 right here, as here it is 2 then it gets 5 then it gets 9 it's never going to be sum of elements is never going to be 0 so simply i'm going to return 0 okay now one more important case let's see this case okay 
so here here let me write the indexes 0 1 2 3 4 5 and we are going to calculate some so it is 3 here then it's 5 then it gets 2 then it's get 8 right then it's get and then it is not present we are simply pushing it in our hash map then what it gets 2 and as we can see 2 is already present so what is the formula my index minus my old index that is 4 minus 2 that is 2 so 2 is one of my potential answer now this was the case that i was waiting for so let's see so we went to the fifth index and our sum becomes 0 so what if what happens when your sum is equal to 0 so what that indicate i want you to think about it so that indicate that that indicates that the sum of all the elements till now is 0 and that's what we want so here we are the fifth index so what i can say my index wait let me write sum equal to my index plus one think about it is it true or not so here we have the fifth index five plus one that is six so there are six elements one two three four five six and you can see their sum is equal to zero three minus three two minus two and six minus six so that is zero perfect simple so now let's code it okay so we know that we will be needing a map map to store our sum and its index okay i'm gonna call it my map now i will need i will be creating a variable max length that is initially zero and a sum variable where i am updating my sum now the first step i will be traversing my array for int i is equal to zero i is less than array dot size i plus plus so what was my first step i was increasing my sum to the array current value that is i array and here the it's i right now i want to discuss about the case that we just discussed if sum is equal to zero what that indicates well, that indicates that if my sum is equal to zero my length will be my index plus one All right so let's compare it with max length max length equal to max of length till now now it was i plus one right perfect else <clears throat> the important cases so we are we have two options right if the sum is already contains in our hash map or it don't contain in our hash map so let's see for both the cases if map dot find sum this is the case where our hash map contains our sum right map dot end perfect okay so if our map already contains our sum right so we will do something and if it don't contain our sum then we know what to do that's a simple case we are gonna simply add that element index right that sum index in our hash map so we did that now what will happen if if our hash map contains then we will be needing our old idx right so what will be our old index we will ask our hash map to give us our old index right so with the old index we can calculate our length what will be our length our length i want to show you we have discussed it our length was my current index minus old index so my current index is i minus old index perfect and my max length will be equal to max of my current length that is length and max length right there's our code and then at the end at the end we are required to return our max length okay so that's our code that's our beautiful code now let's run it running running taking some time mm -hmm, mm -hmm. time limit exceeded why is that 
लेट्स सी वाई इज दैट ओके राइट वेरी सिली मिस्टेक हेयर लेंथ वॉज आई माइनस ओल्ड इंडेक्स एंड आई रोड आई इक्वल टू ओल्ड इंडेक्स शुड रन नाउ लेट ट्राई रनिंग इट and this time it's got accepted okay now let's submit it we used equal operator instead of minus right small mistake happens perfect and out of them i still want to discuss that what i did here what was our way of calculating my length it was my index minus old index right and what we did is equal to operator right my index minus old index now now what i want to do is simply dry run this code because it's important when i don't want you to miss on it right so let's we are going to dry run it from the start okay and we are going to definitely enjoy it okay stay with me okay stick with me because if you might have missed something it's going to get clear this time okay so uh this are some variable also i'm going to draw a hash map this time okay so for that let's create a hash map let's say a uh, sim space this is our map right let's say this is our map what our map is storing is some an index right now initially <laughs> we traverse our array and we store sum that is our array <coughs> element so our sum becomes 3 so sum is not present in our hash map right so if sum is not present so what we are going to do is simply put it in our hash map 3 and its index that is 0 now again we ran the loop and our sum becomes what 5 this time our sum becomes 5 so sum is not 0 right and our hash map don't contains sum so we are going to simply put it in our hash map 5 and its index 1 now our sum is going to become 2 so is 2 present in our hash map right my hash map don't contains so i'm going to simply put it into my hash map that is 2 and its index that is 2 okay so now again what will be my sum my sum will be 8 right so is 8 present no it is not present in my hash map i'm doing a thing putting it and its index that is 3 okay now comes the interesting cases let's see so here my sum will become 6 right uh not 6 2 8 minus 6 that is 2 so is 2 present so i will ask my hash map so yes my hash map contains 2 so what i'm going to do is get a old index so what is the old index old index here is 2 right so old index here is 2 right and what is my current index my current index is 4 right as you can see my current index here is 4 so i'm going to calculate it 4 minus 2 that is going to give me 2 right that is going to give me 2 and as you can see 6 minus 6 that is 2 right perfect now what else i'm going to do i'm going to traverse right and this time what will be my sum my sum will be equal to 0 and if if my sum is equal to 0 that means my length is equal to my current index plus 1 5 plus 1 that is 6 so what will be our answer here our answer will be 6 the whole array right so this was our question very interesting question and i hope that you did understand this question we discussed it several times and i really enjoyed right teaching this question so if you like this video do not forget to like comment and share thanks for watching